Welcome to another Singularity of the Day. As you can see, we're going to be working with a nonlinear study with today's question. Now with this nonlinear study, not only are we accounting for some nonlinear materials, but it's also dynamic. So we're dealing with stress changing throughout time. We can work with this in a couple different ways. Um, but the question is, how do I see the maximum stress for all nodes, all locations, throughout the entire time domain? Well, when we edit a plot, you can specify which time step you want to look at. And likewise, we can probe this information so I can actually take a look at a node and generate a response curve. So throughout that time domain, it gives me the response, the stress of a given point, of a given node. We begin to answer that question, how about all of our nodes at once? What is the maximum stress? So we'll define this when we edit the stress plot. Go into that same plot step section and choose the plot bounds across all steps. And here you can choose maximum, minimum, or absolute max. So we'll choose maximum here for our stress plot and click OK. So now we're seeing an envelope plot grabbing the maximum stress throughout all bounds, throughout the entire time domain. Now so we can continue from here. Um, I can probe information, use the legend here if I want to turn that back on. We can show the maximum annotation so I can see exactly where uh, the maximum stress is located in this model. So hopefully that helps you. Right? Instead of having a probe individual create a response plots, and while all those are very powerful, if you want an overall view of the maximum stress, come back into our plot step and plot, acro plot across all steps. So hopefully this helps you work with simulation. Have a great day.